Hello friends, and today I want to share with you information about potassium permanganate. Why should everyone have potassium permanganate in their home? First of all, what is potassium permanganate? Potassium permanganate is an organic compound with disinfectant, deodorizing and astringent properties. Potassium permanganate, called Condis crystal, was named after its discoverer, Henry Bollman Condi. Unlike other chemicals, potassium permanganate is completely odorless. It perfectly dissolves in water, and depending on the amount of it in the water, you can get from deep purple to a beautiful light pink color. When you use it, use it with caution. Make sure that it will not get to your clothes, dish or hands as it can leave permanent stains. Potassium permanganate has many applications due to its oxidizing property. Let me tell you, how do I use potassium permanganate? My grandparents used this for its healing properties, especially on cuts on the skin and open and blistering wounds. It would turn the area brown, but it was very effective. I have used potassium permanganate effectively for many years as well. I use it to wash my vegetables and fruits from the store. The diluted solution should be pink. I put on my vinyl gloves and a face mask, then I open the bottle and take just a few grains, few little crystals on the edge of a teaspoon. I dilute it with water until it has a light pink color. I also use it for gardening. I soak my seeds in the light pink solution before planting them in the soil. The solution kills all fungus and bacteria, if any. It helps seeds sprout faster and produce a bigger harvest because potassium permanganate has potassium and manganese in its chemical structure. What are the medicinal uses? Potassium permanganate is used for different purposes as an antiseptic and fungicide. It's used to treat skin infections such as eczema, dermatitis, acne, and other fungal infections located in the hands and legs. A potassium permanganate bath can benefit people suffering from wounds with pus, oozing, and blisters. It's important to dilute the solution to safe proportions. It's used to treat fungal infections like outlets, food, where the affected food is soaked in a potassium permanganate solution in water for about 15 minutes. Potassium permanganate is effective for infected eczema, open and blistering wounds. You can apply wet dressing on wounds. It's also effective for athlete's food and impetigo. It's important to know that potassium permanganate must be diluted in the right proportions Otherwise, it can cause burns. Depending on your condition, your doctor should tell you which proportion it should be diluted. Potassium permanganate is used only for external applications. It's also used as a treatment of fish diseases. Potassium permanganate is an excellent remedy for treating fish diseases and parasites. It can cure bacterial gill infections and skin ulcers. It's important to apply the correct percentage of potassium permanganate when you use it for the treatment process. It could also be used as a pest and parasite controlling agent in aquariums. It's also used as a water treatment. Because of the high oxidizing property of potassium permanganate, it can be used for the water treatment process. It can remove magnesium and iron from the water. It also removes the rust caused in water equipment and pipes. It should be purchased from a reliable potassium permanganate store when you use it. Keep in mind 
do not exceed the recommended dose, and you will be fine and happy with the results. Use it as prescribed by your doctor. A 1 in 10,000 dilutions of potassium permanganate can be a cheap and effective treatment for infected eczema, impetigo, and other skin ailments. Carefully follow the prescribed dilutions and consult your doctor before using it. I hope you find this video useful. Please give it a like as this is the virtual way to say thank you and subscribe to my channel to watch more videos like this. Until next time!